Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for sixth graders. The math concepts we will review are integers and absolute value. Remember sixth graders, if at first you don't succeed, you're normal. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be alerted to new videos we upload. We will be going over problems that are in our sixth grade star math review workbook. It is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. So let's review integers and the absolute value. First, let's talk about what integers are, which we did go over in our previous video talking about rational numbers. So integers are all positive and negative whole numbers. That includes zero. So you see in our number line, we have positive numbers on the right-hand side of the number line and negative numbers on the left-hand side of the number line all the way to infinity. So when thinking about positive integers, let's look at some word problems to help us understand the key words that we need to focus on to help us discover if it's a positive or a negative number. First, we have Charles deposited $150 in the bank. So that is a positive $150 because Charles deposited the money, okay? Number two, Mount Kilimanjaro is 19,341 feet above sea level. Again, because it says above, we know that is positive. So we have a plus or a positive 19,341 feet. Number three, the fo football team gained 22 yards on the play. Gained lets us know this is a positive integer and it is 22 yards. Number four, all of the employees received a $75 bonus. So received bonus means that it is a positive $75. Number five, Tracy earned $15 per hour for babysitting. She worked a total of 12 hours all together. So first we know that Tracy earned, which is positive. And what we're going to do is discover how much money she made all together. So what we need to do is multiply 15 times 12 hours, and that is equal to $180. And our last positive integer word problem is the stock market rose 45 points. So rose indicates it is positive. So it is a positive 45. Now let's look at negative integer word problems. Number one, Charles withdrew $150 out of the bank. So we know that withdrew means that it is a negative 150. Number two, the submarine is 4,395 feet below sea level. Below means it is a negative number and it is negative 4,395 feet. Number three, the football team lost 15 yards on the play. Loss indicates a negative number. And again, it is negative 15 yards. Number four, they paid a $75 penalty for speeding. You see, Miss Jackson didn't. Let me correct that now. They paid a $75 penalty for speeding. So penalty paid. It's negative $75. Number five, David owes Angela $60 for his concert ticket. So David owes, which means he has to pay Angela. That's negative 
and he owes, he will be out of negative $60 or he will be sh short negative $60 because he will be paying Angela. And lastly, the stock market fell 45 points. We know that fail is negative. And so our answer is negative 45. Now let's talk about the absolute value. That is a number's distance from zero on the number line. And you will know that it's the absolute value. You're looking for the absolute value of the number because you will have two bars on the left and the right of a number like our example. And the bars are highlighted so that you can see what they look like. So for this problem, we have the absolute value of negative six is equal to six. One thing you should know is that the absolute value of a number is always positive, okay? Always positive. So let's jump into our problem number three. Again, these problems are in our workbook that is for sale in our store. The link is in the description box. George wrote an integer. The opposite of George's integer is negative 53. Which of these statements about George's integer must be true? One, the integer is 53. Two, the integer has an absolute value of negative 53. Three, the integer is negative 53. Four, the integer has an absolute value of 53. So our answer choices are A, Roman, Roman numeral one and two, B, Roman numeral two and four, C, Roman numeral two and three, D, Roman numeral one and four. So the first thing we need to do to solve this problem is discover what are we looking for. We are looking for the statement about George's integer that is true. Now, the next most important question is, what information can help us find that answer? And the information that can help us find the answer is that George's, the opposite of George's integer is negative 53, okay? The opposite of George's integer is negative 53. So now we need to discover how we can solve this problem. Well, the way that we have to, uh, the way that we solve the problem is we have to discover what George's integer is. Since the opposite of George's integer is negative 53, that means the integer is 53, okay? Because remember with integers, it's the number and the whole number and its opposite, okay? So that's the positive and the negative of a number. So since we know that the opposite of George's integer is negative 53, then that means the integer is 53. So now that we have that information, we need to look at our answer choices to discover what the correct answer is. And this is a good practice, uh, sixth graders, whenever you are solving a problem, instead of focusing on the answers, solve the problem for yourself and then compare the answer so that you'll have a higher possibility of getting the answer correct. Because just looking at the answer choices, you can get overwhelmed and then you'll just choose something and it may not be the right answer, okay? So now that we know that the opposite, I mean that the integer is 53, let's look at our answer choices again to see which answer is correct, okay? So looking at Roman numeral one, we know that the integer is 53. Well, we discovered that yes, the integer is 53. So now it looks like the only answer choices we're gonna look at are A and D because they have the Roman numeral one in it. Next, the now for number two, the integer has an absolute value of negative 53. Oh, remember what we said about absolute values? Absolute values are always what? They're always positive. Number three, the integer is negative 53. Well, we know that's not true. And then four, Roman numeral four, 
the integer has an absolute value of 53. So we know that the answer choices are between A and D because we already discovered Roman numeral one was correct. And we know Roman numeral two is wrong. So that takes A out. So our correct answer is D. Roman numeral one, the integer is 53. And Roman numeral four, the integer has an absolute value of 53. Let's move on to question number four. Which situation is best represented by the integer negative 14? F, a grocery store clerk helps 14 times as many customers as another clerk. G, a coach divides the players on his team into 14 equal groups. H, a mail carrier delivers mail to 14 additional houses not on his normal mail route. J, a carpenter shortens the length of a board by 14 inches. So what is our most important question to ask? Yes, it is, what are we looking for? And we are looking for the best situation represented by negative 14, okay? So in order for us to solve this, we have to discover what is the information we need to help find the answer, okay? And the information that we need is that the sentence will describe a negative number. How do we know that? Because we see that big negative sign in front of the 14. So when we're reading through our sentences, we need to think about or look for words that trigger and say, yes, this is a negative number, okay? How do we solve the answer? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna underline the words related to 14 to find which one is negative. So let's do that now. All right, so for F, we have 14 times as many customers as another clerk. Then G, a coach divides the players on his team into 14 equal groups. H, a mail carrier delivers mail to 14 additional houses, not on his normal mail route. And J, a carpenter shortens the length of a board by 14 inches. All right, so in going through those different scenarios, what is our correct answer? And I know you know what it is. Let's just look at it one more time. Okay, F, it says 14 times. Well, when we think of 14 times something, what operation is that? Mm -hmm. Just think about it. G, <laughs> we have divides into 14 equal groups. When we think about divides, is that negative? Mm, I don't think so. All right, H, 14 additional houses and additional kind of gives us a clue of what operation that is. And J shortens the length of a board by 14 inches. In all of those answer choices, what do you think is the correct answer? If you said J, you are absolutely correct. Shortens the length means that it is minus or negative 14. For F, 14 times, well, that's multiplication. For G, divides into 14 equal groups. We know that is division. And then um, the mail carrier uh, delivers mail to 14 additional houses. Well, additional, the root word is add and we know that that'll be a positive number shortens means that it reduces or it subtracts the length and j is the correct answer and that is it sixth graders for our review of integers and the absolute value my name is shay jackson don't forget to go to our store and grab your sixth grade star math review workbook talk to you soon